the top 10 Excel formatting tips and tricks. Here are 10 super simple Excel formatting tips and tricks that can save you time when working with data in your spreadsheet. Number one, positive and negative numbers. It's common practice in accounting to represent positive numbers in black and negative numbers in red inside of parentheses. Let's see how we can apply that formatting to this list of numbers. I'm going to highlight this, right click and go to format cells. That brings up this window. You can get here with the shortcut control one as well. Come down here to custom and you'll see in the list there's an option right here. Select that and hit OK. And we have our formatting. Now let's take a look at that real quick. And you'll see that it's separated with a semicolon. There are four elements of a custom format. The first element is what you want to do with positive numbers. The second element is what you want to do with negative numbers. Then what you want to do with zero and text. So in this example, we're formatting the positive numbers before the semicolon in this type of format, which is just a number with a thousand comma separator and some spacing. The second parameter for negative is we're going to color it red inside of brackets and then use the same formatting for the numbers. We can add a third and a fourth one. And let's just put two semicolons in there with no values and you'll see what happens when we apply that. That gets rid of the zero value and it gets rid of the text values come back to that list again. We could have said we want zeros to show up as text zero and text to show up as nothing. And that works this way as well. So you get the idea about how you can do custom formatting and how you can format positive and negative numbers in accounting format. Number two, conditional labeling. You can use this type of custom formatting to do some basic conditional labeling as well. So let's take this list of numbers. I'm going to hit control one to go back to that menu, go into custom, and we're going to change the general format to say this. Inside of brackets, if the number is greater than 20, then we want to say large. We'll do a semicolon and anything else we'll say small. Hit OK. And you can see that it labeled based on the value in those cells. Just remember it breaks down if you try to do complex conditional formatting, but it works for basic stuff like this. Number three, center without merging. You're probably already aware of the merge and center option. That's when you have a title like this that you want to span across multiple columns. You click merge and center and it centers it within that span. The problem is it's treated as one cell and you can't do anything with the individual cells anymore. There is an alternate method of formatting where you highlight that across that span, but select from the alignment group and then in the alignment menu here, choose center across selection. Hit OK. And now it's centered across that span, but the individual cells still exist. Number four, transpose. With transpose, you can select a table of data, right click on it, go to copy, select a new target location, right click, choose paste special, and in the list of formatting options, come down here and select transpose. You may need to check on the values or other format first before this will not be grayed out. Hit OK and it copies that to the new location and swaps the columns and rows. Number five, special formatting. Excel also comes with pre-built special formats. Let's take these first three, hit control one to go to the format menu, choose special, and you can see here it's got types for zip code, phone number, or social security number. Let's pick phone number and apply that, and you can see it formats that correctly for phone numbers. We'll do the same here with these special formats for social security number. So those common special formats are available as well. Number six, hide zero values. There is a quick method to hide the zeros that you have in your data just with formatting. Let's highlight this and hit control one to go to the formatting menu again. Click on custom 
and you can see that the format is general. Well, as we saw earlier, there's four parts to this. First part is positive, second part is negative. I'm going to skip over the third part, which is the zero, and I'm gonna put the fourth part for text as general. That makes the general format for all of the areas except leaving the zeros blank. And when you hit OK, it gets rid of the zeros. Just apply that formatting to any group of numbers and it'll hide all the zeros. Number seven, Format Painter. A great way to copy formatting quickly is to highlight the area you want to copy it from and click on the Format Painter. Now you can paint any area you want with that format. You can also highlight an area and double click on the Format Painter. That locks it in so that now you can paint multiple locations. And when you're all done, click to turn it off. Number eight, clear formatting. If you've ever highlighted an area and hit delete, but it left all the shading and background formatting, there's a quick method to remove that. Let's come back here, highlight that again, go up to the Home tab editing group and select clear formats from the list. That removes just the formatting. You can also remove the formatting with the data intact. And if you want to remove the formatting and the data both, then highlight it and choose clear all. That gets rid of everything. Number nine, color formatting. We saw earlier that you could mark negative numbers red, but there are eight core colors that you can define in the custom formatting. For example, let's do control one to bring up our formatting. We'll go to custom, and in this list, we're gonna put in brackets the color green. Hit OK, and it marks that as green. These eight basic colors can be defined just by naming them. But there's also 56 other colors in the color index chart, and that's available on Microsoft's site under color index. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Let's say we want a color from this list, like number 24. Back in our spreadsheet, you just pick any field you want to mark that color, hit Control-1, pick custom, and in this case, we're gonna put in color 24, and hit OK, and it marks it that color. Number 10, bullet formatting. Have you noticed that the Excel menu doesn't have bullet points like Microsoft Word does? Well, there is a way you can use formatting in order to insert that, and I wanna add a bullet to the beginning of these text items right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is find the bullet to insert. So I'm going to go over to Symbols, and I'm going to pick from the list something like Dingbats, where I can find a bullet point. Let's pick this one right here and insert it and close that window. Now I have my bullet. I'm going to copy that with Control-C, and then I'm going to go over here and hit Control-1 to bring up my formatting options. Choose Custom, and in the list we're going to Control-V to Paste, and we've got our bullet point. Now I'm gonna put a space in there between that and the text, and I'm gonna use the at symbol, which represents the rest of the text in this list. Hit OK, and now you have a bullet point in front of your text. You can choose different symbols. Just make sure that whatever you do, you use the same font that you have for your text because you can't mix different fonts here. Thanks for watching the top 10 Excel formatting tips and tricks. If you're interested in other Excel tips and tricks, be sure to check out the end screen links for my other popular Excel videos. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.